decorating and having a creative outlet is one of my favorite aspects of planning on paper. Whether it's stickers, painting, drawing, or just doing simple highlights, being able to turn my brain off and just create has been very healing for me this year. And something that has also been very healing for me is finding a weekly planning practice that improves the quality of my life. It's something that's helped me step back and romanticize my life more. And those are always going to be the intentions of my planning system and why I choose certain practices. And if you're going to get anything from this video, I hope it's that you just remember to seek out the things that make you happy and bring you joy. I mean, everywhere in life, but especially in your planner. So before we start, I just want to preface that in no way is this video or any of the videos that I make a sales pitch for you to use Hobonichi. The reason I show them in my videos is because it's what I use. My goal is not for you to use Hobonichi. My goal is to help give tips or insight and hopefully those can guide you into finding a system that works best for you. So you guys just saw me do my illustration of the week. This can vary week to week lately. I've really been in a painting mood, but I'm sure, you know, as things get busier or if I'm not feeling good, you know, I'm not going to be painting every week. But I do like to add some sort of visual interest to help me feel a little bit more engaged and just provide a little balance between all the writing in my weeklies. I like to set up my weeklies anytime between the Friday to Sunday before the week starts. So today is actually Friday, October 20th. So because I have the time today, I just like to set up my next week. I work a typical Monday through Friday, nine to five. And so one of the most important aspects of my weekly page is to keep me on track with my work tasks. Because I don't work Saturday and Sunday, I'm usually using those days as a rest and recharge. So I like to put my task bar, let me show you a good example. I like to put my task bar on the Saturday and Sunday, and then whatever room I have left, I will just use that space for journaling. In the Saturday column, I will write in the days of the week, so Monday through Saturday. So if we are setting up this week, I will just write. And when I write in my weeklies, I like to leave the column closest to the lines blank. Um, you can kind of notice it here, they're blank on the edges. I feel like that just makes it look a little bit cleaner. So I do the same thing for my taskbar. So I will do AM for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I only go to Saturday because this is my work taskbar. And in theory, I'm not really working on Saturdays, but I'm definitely not working on Sundays. And so I only do Monday through Saturday, just in case. But I will write the days of the week and then I just make a little line separating them. If there's anything I know I need to get done next week, so if I need to submit payroll on Monday, I will go ahead and just write that in now. But usually when I'm setting up my weekly, I will take all the things that I didn't get done in my current week and I will transfer them over into this week. So something I know, that I need to do next week is to send a weekly update email. Now my work is pretty slow, so there's nothing off the top of my head that I know that needs to get done, but I will use this as a working list throughout the week. Um, so far work has been kind of slow in October, but if you look at previous months of mine, sometimes they're a lot more busy. I also use Outlook to help keep me on track, so I don't put that in my planner, I just do that on my work laptop, but these are the things that I know I need to do and I need to come back to later. I like making my to-do list like this for a couple of reasons, but the main one is because it doesn't make me feel like a failure. I find myself feeling more negative when I assign certain work tasks on a specific day and I'm not able to complete them, and I also just hate having to carry things that I don't get done like over and over day to day. So this method gives me a lot of autonomy and flexibility on what I want to do and when I want to do it. So obviously, if there's a task like payroll that has to get done Monday, I'm going to do it Monday. That's not something I really have control over. But the majority of my job duties, I'm, I have some sort of flexibility when I complete them. So I do like to do this sort of task bar. And I find that when I give myself the choice to choose what I want to do, 
I'm a lot more motivated to get stuff done rather than like forcing myself to get, you know, whatever done on specific days. After I set up my work taskbar, I will do my home and personal, which I do over here on the left. I like to switch these up a little bit uh, week to week. They're a little bit more seasonal for me and switching them up helps me just not get bored and it helps with my overall consistency. The concept of this taskbar is the exact same one on the right, but since this is only one column compared to the two, the format is a little bit different. So I will write the task and then leave a space below it to mark it for completion. So you can see right here, I will have a task and then I leave this row empty. So as we move through the week, I will mark off what I did. So yesterday was Thursday. So I did a cleaning task yesterday. This is for my kids. I did drink a bottle of water yesterday. Woohoo! Um, and then I did not do a painting yesterday. So these are my little habits that I will write in. This um, is usually like art assignments, kind of school assignments that I have been writing out for myself. I'm gonna use my Hobonichi weeks for this next year, but I've been putting in them in my cousin for now. So for this upcoming week, I usually at the top just like to put to do's and then I will draw a line to separate it. So every week I always want to do some sort of cleaning task at home. Um, hair and teeth is just for my kids and I obviously brush my kids teeth every day but this is more so for me and their dad to like see who is doing what when and then what else do I usually do I want to see how much I am painting I also need to wash my sheets and water my plants And I need to return library books. When looking at this little column, I don't write out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, so on like I do over on the right. So I will just keep a mental note that this first box is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. And so as we move through the week, I will just mark off what day they get done. And usually I'm backlogging these like so if today is Friday, I'm usually filling in for Thursday. Sometimes when I need a little pick me up, I will just put habits in here that I have no problem doing, like brushing my teeth, flossing my teeth, just so I can mark things off my list. I find when I feel a sense of accomplishment, it motivates me more to do the chores that are a little less fun. And that's all that I do for my weekly setup sometimes. I will put in some art assignments I want to get done for the week, but again, I'm using my Hobonichi weeks for that next year just because I want a little bit more separation. I don't do anything on the daily columns until day of, and when I'm on that day, I usually just set aside like five to ten minutes to just write about my day, how things are going, what's happening, anything I want to share really. My weekly pages are pretty simple. Um, I think when you look at them, they can look really intimidating at first, but all they really are is just a work and home checklist and then just journaling on the single days. It's worked really well for me. I kind of just ignore these time labels right here. I don't use that and I don't really put appointments or anything in here just because I have them programmed into my phone. And if I have any sort of appointment coming up, I will just refer to this page, I will usually check my monthly calendar um, a couple times a week just to see if I have anything coming up, but a lot of the like doctor's appointments, things like that are pretty regular and they're scheduled in my phone, so I don't put them in here. I just use this for work, well, work and home, and then just my, my daily journaling, whatever I want to write about. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for being here. I'm so glad you were here, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.